everybody. Um, as Kelly said, I'm Donovan Riga, um, Sales Director for Cybex. Um, been in this role now for seven years um, and have been um, pushing Cybex into um, Australia and New Zealand for that time. Um, today I'm going to introduce one of our, our products, um, namely PC Migration Pro. Um, simply put, uh, PC Migration Pro is the easiest and fastest way to migrate a PC while the user continues to work. So um, what we've got is um, for most technicians, migrating a user uh, to a new computer is quite a manual and time consuming process. In addition, um, you've got your end user that has unproductive downtime because they are without their, their device. So this leads to inefficiencies, one with your technician because of the time they're using to migrate the PC, as well as the inefficiencies and downtime of your users. Um, a typical migration involves a technician with an external hard drive going around manually finding um, and copying relevant data for each of the users. Uh, in addition, they then need to set up um, user profiles and email settings, um, and these are all manually configured on the new device. Again, quite a timely process. Um, files they need to be copied across to the new um, device and obviously ensuring that they're in the correct location. So as you can see, this obviously creates a risk um, of the end user not getting all their relevant data and their settings potentially being um, different to what they used to. With PC Migration Pro, um, all the user's data and their profile settings are transferred to the new computer while the user continues to work. Progress for the migration can be monitored by the technician from the new device. And since it's fully automated, technicians can easily run multiple migrations at the same time. So the automated device device to a uh, device to device data transfer eliminates the need for your technician to go and uh, manually search and find files. Uh, it reduces the risk of losing any, any data or data being misplaced, and it reduces the risk of data being left on any external devices or drives uh, with the potential for any unauthorized access at a later stage. Um, some of the key features um, for um, Migration Pro. Uh, sorry, beg your pardon. So key features. So setup of the migration occurs in seconds and again is monitored uh, remotely. Um, this enables the, the migration to occur while a user continues to work. Um, as you would imagine, while they're working, there'll be files that are being created. Um, you simply, at the end of the migration, and when you're ready to hand the PC back to the, um, the user, the new PC to the end user, you run what's called a migration update, and that'll go and find any, any new or changed files and ensure that those are brought across too. So there's no lost data or lost progress of work in that time. Um, it also ensures that data is securely migrated, all business and personal data between two devices. Um, the other big upside of PC Migration Pro is that it transfers all the user files and profile settings, including system and application settings. And as you can imagine, for the end user, this creates a, a seamless and, and less stress-free change when they're getting new hardware. Some of the benefits, um, user continues to work, as we said, um, during migration, so no more user downtime. All data, so we don't lose any data, business and personal, as well as configurations and settings are migrated automatically without missing anything. Device to device improves security and eliminates data being copied to external drives. And it's fully automated, so it saves time. Um, Dave mentioned earlier about the cost of resources for MSPs. Um, instead of spending an hour on a, on a migration, we can now do it in under 10 minutes. So again, there's efficiencies that can be worked out um, from, from a technician perspective, as well as the um, efficiencies for the end user. Um, some of the additional features, and I won't go through all of these again, just conscious of time. What is important to note that uh, PC Migration Pro supports all versions of Microsoft, so we can uh, migrate from older versions of Windows to newer, up to 11 at the moment. We easily link two devices through a simple to use and unique um, code. Um, and I'll show you that in the demo in a minute um, to ensure that we are in fact migrating the data to the correct device. Remotely starts and monitors migration from the new device. So the end user, um, other than just inputting the key, doesn't impact them. Um, small file optimization significantly improves speed of transferring hundreds of um, small files, again, speeding up the process. There's an automatic connection retriability. So if during the process, the, the connection over the network is interrupted for whatever reason, 
Uh, it'll pick up where you've left off and the process continues. We don't need to start again. Um, shortcuts, um, desktop and documents are all migrated to new locations. Um, and profile migration, so taskbar settings, Windows folders, network drivers, um, also on Microsoft Outlook, all email accounts, PST files, even signatures will be transferred across to the, to the user's new device. Uh, in addition, any um, uh, bookmarks on Chrome or Edge um, are also uh, moved across and will be there for the user when they get the new machine. PC migration works in a few easy steps. Simply install PC migration on the old and the new computer. You enter the link code between the two devices. Um, customer or the end user continues to work while the migration is monitored from the new computer. And then, as I mentioned earlier, you simply run an update migration to pick up any of the changed files while they're busy working, um, just before we're ready to switch, uh, switch over the machine. And then the, the um, user will be able to continue uh, with the device that was set up exactly as the old one. Uh, these are just two screenshots. Um, you can see on the left, uh, PC Migration Pro selecting the old computer, and on the right-hand side where the um, technician can monitor the progress of the migration. Finally, um, PC Migration Pro was designed with end partners and partners in, in mind, uh, so it's fully white labeled or in, um, can be white labeled. So again, um, you can include your logo and your product name and market it as your own product. Uh, Self-service license and ordering. So we have a flexible billing model, either fixed price for device or percentage of device. And again, we can discuss that with, with uh, Ready. Um, and it really is a good differentiator um, and, and sort of creates that um, ability to keep your, your, your customers because it's just so easy when you do a hardware refresh. Um, so Kelly, we're still good to go ahead with the demo. It, it's very quick. It'll just show very quickly how easy it is to use PC Migration Pro. Welcome to the demo of PC Migration Pro, the easiest, fastest PC migration while the user works. Now for most computer technicians, migrating a user to a new computer is a manual time consuming process but even more so for the user who would usually have a day of downtime. Typically migrating a user involves an IT technician with a hard drive, finding and then copying all the files for the user. All the settings, including the profile and email, would then need to be manually configured on the new computer, and all the files would need to be copied back to the right location, risking the user not having all of their data migrated. In this demo, I'll be showing you how you can migrate a user to a new computer while they continue working, reducing their downtime to minutes and enabling an IT technician to migrate a user with the click of a button. Let's look at the user's old computer. Now this is a typical user with files on their desktop, data across various locations, including their documents, and very important pictures which include their personal files, data on the OneDrive, and also data on various volumes, for example, an eDrive. Now this is all the non-standard locations where users save data. We also have a company map network drive that's been set up. The user has an existing Outlook profile. And you can see we have an email signature or multiple email signatures that have been configured. Again, this is all part of the configuration that the technician would need to migrate and set up on the new machine. Let's look at the account settings. The user has an archive PST file in Outlook. You can see that's been mapped already. The user also has various browser favorites that have been bookmarked. In this case, the user is using Chrome. Uh, it could be Firefox as well, but there are browser favorites, there are extensions, and also the history of the user. And all of that will be included in the migration. Now let's look at the user's new computer. As you can see, there are no files on the, the device. No data under documents and pictures and OneDrive and all the locations that we showed you previously. If you look at the user's profile and configuration, nothing's been set up. Outlook is uh, newly installed on the computer, uh, but nothing has actually been configured. So it's a brand new computer just with the applications installed. Let's launch PC Migration Pro on the new computer. And the first thing we want to do is select this as the new computer. Once we've done that, we enter the license key that you'd be provided with. We've been given a link code to link the two computers together. You'll notice that there are 12 licenses remaining. 
Now this means that you can buy a, a license with the same license key for a number of uh, devices to be migrated, making it really easy for multiple technicians to share that license key in your organization. So let's go ahead and launch PC Migration Pro on the old computer. We're gonna select it as the old computer and then enter the link code that we received from the new computer. And this is a really easy way for you to connect the two devices together um, without having to enter any IP address information. That's basically all that needs to be done on the old computer. So let's switch to the new computer to start the migration. You'll see, we see, we'll see a summary of the migration. So we're migrating from Windows 10 to a Windows 11 computer, and we're gonna start the live migration. You'll see it will prepare the old computer for migration, and in the background, the new files will start migrating and being transferred to the new device. Let's see what's happening on the old computer while the migration is in progress. And the user is actually con continuing to work. Um, in this case, there's a PowerPoint presentation that's open. The user working on migration is happening in the background while the user continues. Now, typically, this is where the technician would have had the computer and the user would have lost all of this downtime. The user continuing to write an email. And again, migration is happening in the background. So let's go back to the new computer, which the technician would typically have. The migration is in progress, migrating the rest of the files. We also have progress that shows how long it will take, and we then migrate the user profile settings over. Great. We can now see that the live migration is done, and you'll see that there were 644 files migrated, 8 gigabytes of data migrated. And again, this is, includes all the files on the user device. Um, everything is scanned, located, and migrated, as well as the profile settings. You'll notice that there's one file that's been skipped, and this was because the user was working on the document at the point in time. So now it's a very simple process. We, the user would save and close their uh, files, they would close down the presentation, they would close down the email, and they would now be ready to hand over their machine to the technician to do the swap out. The technician would then run an update migration, as you can see. Again, it would um, run through the process of scanning through the user's machine to make sure that we find any new or changed files that need to be transferred for the migration. You'll notice any new files being added to the new machine. And this is a very quick process because we've done the bulk of the migration while the user was working. We're again migrating the user profile settings to ensure if anything has changed. Great, and the update migration is done. You'll see in that case, there were 29 files that were migrated as opposed to the original 600 plus files that were done. Now we simply sign out of Windows and sign back in. And this will ensure that all the profile settings have been applied to the new computer. So let's have a look. We have the files on the desktop that you saw earlier on. We've got the data, so on the desktop, we've got documents. Pictures, again, all the user's personal information, the OneDrive files. Simply sign into OneDrive and you can access those. All the local files have been transferred. And again, the data on the e-volume, e so any other locations where users could be sharing files. We have uh, the company network share that's been um, linked again. Startup Outlook, so Office 365 Outlook and uh, have a look at the profile, it's a quick sign in with your email address, but all the configuration has been done for you. So you'll see that if we look at the email, email signature has been set up with the reply addresses. Again, this is all the stuff that would be typically manually set up by the technician. Account settings, we have the PST files that have been mapped. You know, this could be multiple archive files for users. You can see all the email that's already there. The taskbar preferences that have been set up. Again, this is all the type of stuff that the user would be familiar with, all back exactly where they had it before, as well as the user's browser favorites that have been uh, migrated. As you can see, we were able to easily migrate the user with a click of a button, significantly reducing the time spent by the technician as well as the user's downtime. Now, PC Migration Pro can be fully white labeled, enabling OEM system integrators and MSPs, as well as large resellers to include or sell it as their own value added product. Please contact sales at bcmigrationpro.com for more information. Again, a special offer for this. Uh, please reach out to Nick and Kelly at Cloud Ready, but 
but um, we're happy to offer 10 free migrations for all attendees. Um, and we will be running an additional webinar later on that will be um, arranged through Nick and Kelly, uh, just to discuss some of the other Cybex products. Um, and we will be offering uh, 10 additional licenses if you attend and sign up and attend that. So thank you.